1,400 pounds, 900 horsepower rockets with wings. It's racing season at Knoxville Raceway every Saturday night. The hottest tickets to the biggest shows on dirt this season at Knoxville Raceway. Reserve yours today at KnoxvilleRaceway.com. Coach Rhodes, how are you? Excellent. Good morning. Good morning. He's got a lot of energy. <laughs> <laughs> You're taller than I thought you'd be. And you have I, a lot more facial hair than I remember. You got a like a Paul Bunyan thing going on there. I do got a little Paul Bunyan deal going on, and, and uh, when the weather's getting nicer, you're not supposed to do that. But that's just the direction I'm going. All yeah. right. <laughs> you're such a rebel, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, yeah. warm out. We shave our faces. You're like, no, no. I'm growing it. I'm butching it up a little bit here. Not that you need to or anything, of course. I did, I did trim it up for the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it's it's not unkempt or anything. So how's uh, how's the off season going for the Cyclones? Outstanding. Are you uh, recruiting? Are you taking a break for a couple weeks? Guys are out recruiting right now. We got uh, seven guys on the road. Head coaches can't go out in the spring, so I'm. Oh, you uh, can't. No, I'm stuck at home. Why not? What's the, why is that rule in place? Well, to, to be quite honest, uh, head coaches didn't want to work. In, oh. in uh in in the springtime so they voted themselves off the road <laughs> uh, so it was something that was done before i got uh, got in office so to speak you know what i and some other morning show hosts should get together and we should vote that we're not coming in at five in the morning i like it i'm fine we're with not that. coming in till 10 a.m so that's how it works just get a bunch together vote and done and done but since you have time off you're obviously using your time for better things other than just leisurely golf or whatnot yeah, like walking around downtown and stopping in the studios just to come on to shows. <laughs> well, and more importantly, there's uh, there's an event coming up called A Ride to Remember. We were going to get to that, Amy. We want to talk we're some football. We're just having some fun with... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way to ruin guy just, time. I'm trying to keep you guys focused. Well, we'll talk about the ride here in just a second, but uh, have you seen Todd Blythe playing for the Barnstormers? I know you didn't coach him. I, I have not seen a, a Barnstormers game yet this season, but, but Todd is around... Um, he was recovering uh, from an ankle injury right after I took the job. So yeah. he was around quite a bit back then. Talking to Coach Paul Rhodes, uh, we'll talk about the right here to benefit the Alzheimer's Association just in just a second. How's the team looking this year? Is, are, we, are we stacked? Are we ready for improvement? I, I, I don't know if I would say stacked. Uh, I yeah. don't know if that would be an accurate term, but we are deeper than we've ever been. Um, we, we had a great spring. Great developments taking place. We started our morning workouts uh, yesterday. And uh, guys were back in town and, and uh, anxious to get going, anxious to work in preparation for this season. And if you could say one thing to Cyclone fans who are just so pumped and ready for a good season from the Cyclones. Give what us you, good news. What would, you say, what would you say to them? Well, I, I'd say to them this. You better get your tickets before they're all gone. Yeah. Because uh, Jack Dry Stadium is going to be packed this fall. We've got an outstanding home schedule. Um, I, I, I've all, always dreamed of the day that, that we sell Jack Trice out on a, on a season basis. And when you're playing teams like Northern Iowa, Iowa, Texas, Texas A&M, uh, Oklahoma State, and Kansas at home, uh, it's going to be a hard ticket to come by. We, we put a great team on the field. We're a lot of fun to watch and, and uh, encourage everybody to get out and, and see us in person. And speaking of Texas, was that like your crown jewel this last season, that game? I, my family was actually at the game, and they're split because I have cousins who are huge UT fans, and they were at the game, and I was surprised my brother didn't get arrested, but it's beyond that. <laughs> those, those particular cousins Charlie left Sheen. with long faces on, they sure on, on that did. day. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Winning on the road is, is, is always special, but to do it in Austin, Texas, is, it doesn't get much better than that. I was in Vegas and almost fought a fat man at, at a sports book, actually. I looked at my husband, who's a huge Hawkeye fan. I was like, we have to move and he goes why well, i go because i'm going to say something i'll regret and inevitably you'll get into a fight so we should probably move <laughs> how, how does that work the, the wives get us into fights oh i know well he just wouldn't shut up i just wanted to turn around and go hey fat guy why don't you grab yourself another hot dog because obviously you never played football wow. my, my husband just kept looking at me going just shut up i think shut it's, up. i think it's because husbands we like to protect our families and our wives, <laughs> you know and, and our, if our wife comes to us, this guy, and he did this, and you need to kick his butt. We're like, all right, I guess I need to kick his butt. <laughs> Got to keep her happy. I had a feeling I could probably knock him in the knees and run away fast enough that he probably wouldn't have had to fight him. But No offense to your husband. I think you could do more damage than Scott. <laughs> no offense to him. She'd talk him into submission. <laughs> <laughs> That's like those cyclones, man. They kick ass, right? Believe it. The Hawk yeah. fans are just like, ooh, ooh, ooh get hey. my shoes dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rhodes, you're very intense. I I, uh, I feel like I should hit the sleds with you looking at we, me. We can do that. I can get a whistle out or whatever we need really? to do to, to get you'd, ourselves trained. You'd probably break me within five minutes. <laughs> I'd run away crying. 
thrown on an adult diaper. <laughs> the, the Alzheimer's Association is coming up, uh, or, excuse me, the ride. Tell us about the ride that's happening this Sunday. A ride to remember. It's our second annual ride. It's coming up this Sunday, May 22nd. We're going to meet at Jack Trice Stadium at, at 12 o'clock. Uh, have a little meet and greet and take some pictures and, and then a big group photo at the end of that. And then at 1 o'clock, we're going to kick our stands up and, and uh, ride through central Iowa. Very nice. And what kind of bike you got? I've got a Harley-Davidson Glide. Oh, very nice. It, 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 it is nice. Schmancy. Is that the one that has like the iPod adapter on it and the speakers and the direct TV and stuff? It, well, it, it doesn't have direct TV. It's got a shower. It, but, but it do has a few other things on it. And, <laughs> and uh, maybe the nicest is, is cruise control. That's nice. I got a Harley uh, Sportster well, 1200, 1200 Custom. Custom paint. My my first one was an 883 Custom. Great bike. Really? I got a 1200. It's not 883. I'm a I, real man. I, I couldn't keep up with you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Paul Rhodes, coach of the Iowa State Cyclones, we appreciate you coming in. Is there a website we can go to for more information on the ride and how to sign up? Yeah, the website is www.alz.org backslash Greater Iowa, or you can call 515-440-2722, or just show up Sunday, May 22nd. We'll get you registered there. All right, we'll put a link on our website, of course. And uh, before I let you go, why are you involved in this? How has Alzheimer's touched you? It has touched me. It touched me and my family. My mother was diagnosed with Alzheimer's when I was an assistant coach at Iowa State back in the late 90s. Uh-huh. Uh, she's still at home. My, my father, who's, who's going to be 84 this fall, is the primary caregiver as well as my siblings. And, uh, yeah, it, it's hit close to home. What? And tell us what that's like. I, I, I try to think of, like, my dad, if he got Alzheimer's. And I don't know I don't know where to begin. I, it's like they don't know you, right? It's, Oh, is that how it works? That's exactly the way it is. And, and uh, with it's my just... mother, it came on very fast. Uh, picture the most vibrant person that you've ever known in your life, and, and that was her. And uh, now she's, she's, uh, she's wheelchair-bound, uh, sits on the sofa all day long. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an ugly disease and, and uh, very painful to see it come it's gotta on. It's got to be heart-wrenching. As a son, it, it, it is. Uh, it, it's sad to me. She's she's never seen me uh, coach a game at oh. Iowa State. Um, wasn't at the uh, press conference where I, I got introduced. Everybody else in my family was. So uh, yeah, there, there, there's there's times about that, that that are very sad to me. It's it's fun to be home. It's fun to be near family. But the fact that she can't enjoy this, knowing it was one of uh, one of my goals uh, career wise, is 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 saddening. Well, God bless you for using your stature as, uh, as coach of cyclones to bring attention to this. And Alzheimer's Association, we appreciate the work you guys do. And be a part of uh, helping things out this Sunday with the ride. And, uh, again, we'll put a link to the uh, uh, to, to where you can sign up. Uh, coach Rhodes, appreciate it, and good luck this season. Thank you for the luck, and thank you very much for having us on and bring uh, recognition to this call. Absolutely.